Hi. So Chrissy has a story that she wants to share, and I have no idea what she's going to say because she wanted to save it for face-to-face. -face. So Chrissy, I'll leave it to you. Okay. So as you know, it's spring now, and just a couple weeks ago, we were in the dead of winter over here in Delaware, and I was scheduled to go to the shop where I do intuitive I do intuitive designs with henna. So I only do walk-ins. We're only allowed walk-ins. So I promote on this, the owner's site and customers just come in and they'll get a little henna design based on uh, a very light reading. So and like I don't do a, from them. like I do a very light reading, maybe inspirational and like your coloring book, the animal wisdom book is great for that. And they pick a page and that's kind of like an icebreaker. So anyway, I decided to bring your cards in. And this was your beautiful <laughs> effortless tarot cards. And I didn't know it was going to snow and be a crappy day. And it was a Sunday, which they're always slow anyway. So... I'm setting up my table and I'm in a back room. So I have a private little area so I could have my space when I'm with my clients. And I'm looking out the window and I'm thinking, oh, I don't know if people are even going to come because of the snow. And it was, you know, I'm still setting up anyway. So I set up all my henna stuff. And at this point, no one re was really coming in. So I was like, I'll just set up things, but maybe I'll pack some of this stuff away and mm -hmm. just to make it light so I can leave. And so there's one girl that's out front and she's at the counter at the door. And so she's out there and it's me, no customers at all. And so I go out there and I see it's snowing even harder. And I'm like, oh, great. I'm like, okay. I told her, I said, if this keeps up, I'll probably leave early today. And she's like, yeah, that's fine. So I go back to my private room and I sit at my little desk where I have everything set up. And so I have this little light. I actually have it with me today. Okay. So I have this cute. little... It's like a little ring light, but yeah, it clips one. onto the desk <laughs> I love and that. you have to tap this button here. So mm -hmm. I just put this over where I'm doing, you know, the henna design, just, you know, to see better. So I sit down and I look at the, my setup and I, this is, I'm thinking now, I thought I, maybe I should put these um, things away and just keep my henna out. And then I looked at your cards and I was like, I wonder, <clears throat> I wonder if I should just leave these out just in case. Mm. And then my light went on. <laughs> my light went on when I asked myself a question. I said, I want, this is what I'm saying. It's I, wonder, yes. <laughs> I wonder if I should leave these cards out. The light goes on and I'm like, I didn't tap it. No one is here. And so then I start touching it thinking, okay, maybe there's a short nothing. So um, I, I get a little spooked. I get a little, I get a little scared, which I've been doing a whole lot better because I thank the spirits and I thank them mm -hmm. for showing me in a nice way because they're not attacking me. It's just my own anxiety so I did get a little scared <laughs> I got a little nervous and I'm like okay well I'm not putting them cards away because I just got an answer and thank you that. for the answer <laughs> but I said I'm gonna go out front and, and thinking I'm gonna go out front and talk to the girl and have her come back here and maybe she could bump into my table and see if my light goes on and off so I told her what happened. She came back. She tried. Nothing would turn the light on or off. Nothing. So I'm thinking, okay, I need to use these cards or at least leave them out. 
The whole day, maybe two customers came into the store. One just happened to be in the area with their daughter, and her daughter was only 11 years old. Mm-hmm. And they just happened to, she, the mom said, oh, do you want a henna? Not knowing what I do. Mm-hmm. So I have the little girl come back with me, sit down at the table. And so I kind of explained to her what I do. And I'm not sure if, if, you know, she's up to it with her age, but she definitely wanted to move forward. And I look at the cards again and I said, well, obviously I have to pull at least one card for her. (laughs) And when I did, she's quiet and shy and she's not talking. And I'm like, does this make sense to you? And she's just like, you know, nodding. Yes. And thank goodness it was your cards because they're so cute and designed so nicely. It's not scary. And I would not pull a card for an 11 year old any other time, but I felt Yeah, me neither. That's why I made my cards with like cartoons on them. (laughs) And thank goodness you did. A lot of people that are like, I want this for my daughter. (laughs) I, yeah. And it was the perfect card. It was what she needed. She didn't tell me too much, but she agreed. I only pulled one card. It was the card that she needed because she was having a lot of confidence problems and she loved the card and it was the cutest thing. And I'm having goosebumps right now. I get the chills. I I call it a brain freeze. That's awesome. I love that. And it's just, it scared me in a good way, but anytime I use something that you created, I always give the exact thing that somebody needs. They always, and I would never guess in a million years what it is they're coming for. But at that very moment, I was told in some way or another to leave those cards there because there was a purpose to be served. And it was. I love that. It was just for one person. Well, guess what I have here? Your coloring book. (gasps) Ah! (laughs) It's been a year now that I, that I had that come out. I love the affirmations in it. Oh, thank you. You deserve all you want and more. I really want to work on doing another one, and I should have done it for this month, but I, I think I'll do it this summer. Yeah, take oh, your time. Uh, divine timing. That's another thing I was talking to uh, um, Lulu from the House of Oshun about. Um, not to rush things because like if you have an idea it's kind Mm. of like um it's still like an egg (laughs) like you gotta let it grow until it's like bursting out of you yeah that makes sense well I love that story I'm so glad that you surprised me with it (laughs) thank you it's a little scary and it's a little out there and I know it sounds a little out there but I have a hard time paying attention to my intuition, my intuitive. And so it comes across to me almost like um, kind of loud or in my face. So I'm paying attention because I feel like everything is a sign and I'm all over the place. Is that, what's that, what's that? Mm -hmm. And so right away, it's like, it was just very clear and very sudden. So, you know, of course, I'm going to pay attention to that, but that's kind of how it comes across to me when I really need to pay attention. So I'm glad it happened and it happened with you and mine with your (laughs) cards. And so I always have the most magic, the most magical moments when I use your stuff, anything that that you made, everybody gets exactly what they want every time. Thank you. That's so awesome to hear. I love that. I have a kind of a little scary story. (laughs) If you're you're up for (laughs) it, 